Hi everyone, this is Sam Corey. During 11 or 12 years, especially uh, in, from 2011 until now, uh, all people they saw in the name Syria in the head news. Uh, some people they asking, is it revolution? The other they spoke, it's civil war, uh, uh, especially after uh, 2012. And uh, the other they spoke, uh, it's uh, 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 holy war because uh, there is a problem uh, uh, between the Alawi part of the Shia, uh, Shiite, uh, and uh, the Sunni, where the majority of the people. Uh, but actually, to be honest with you, inside Syria, Syria it's like a mosaic, like here, it's mixed from different colors, uh, mixed from different ethnic and uh, minorities. Uh, there is more than uh, seventeen uh, religious. Uh, but uh, before I spoke about this religious, uh, those religious, uh, uh, I uh, I want to show you a video. Maybe you can decide uh, 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 with me. There is uh, 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 there is a new minorities now inside Syria. Not anyone they spoke about this minorities. Uh, 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 let let's let's see now also who's killing, who's who's uh, die and who's survive. If you saw in this video, there is more than 9 million uh, they leave their home. To be honest with you, exactly 6.5 uh, million they leave Syria uh, uh, to around uh, around uh, uh, Syria and Turkey and Jordan and also in Europe, there is more than uh, around 1 million uh, refugees. Uh, that's make a lot of problem for all the world. Uh, and also more than uh, 350,000 uh, they uh, uh, killing that's the United Nations they spoke this number but to be honest with you maybe the number more than half million uh, now uh, but the Syria now uh, inside Syria if you saw that uh, video uh, about this uh, uh, man when he asking the God uh, he asking God to take him Take whose? Take Bashar al-Assad because he destroyed his home. He uh, killing uh, his children and, uh, and his wife. Uh, so uh, those people, they don't have any problem. Uh, and for the religious people, they believe if they make any mistake, the God, they will send message for them. But uh, for the uh, children, they, they not decide to be uh, Christian or Sunni or Jew or... Uh, any any atheist, uh, so so uh, how the people they understand that issue. Uh, I remember before two thousand eleven, there is small groups uh, they can speak directly. We are atheist, uh, but now inside Syria there is a huge number because the people they understand the God they not take care about the people, uh, and uh, they didn't support them against Bashar al-Assad. So there's many people, they spoke very clear, we are atheists, we are not religious. So I, I believe this uh, this group is like small minorities beside the 17 man minorities. In 2011, when the Syrian revolution happened, uh, we should know s some details about the Alawi uh, 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 group. The Alawi group, it's mixed between Al-Haidari, this group here, uh, and those people, they're living in North Latakia until uh, Turkey government. Uh, and uh, the, uh, another group called Al-Klazi, those group from Latakia to South to Tartus near uh, 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 Lebanon. So uh, those group, uh, uh, 
they ke- uh, half of the Assad, the uh, father of Bashar al-Assad, they came from Al-Kalbi uh, clan. Uh, it's the al Klazi it's mixed from different clan if you see the blue all this group uh, uh, are uh, 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 Klazi uh, so this uh, Bashar Hafez uh, al-Assad when he came to uh, be a president directly he hired people from those clan to be a part of the uh, security and also from the army uh, and as we know the mountain inside Syria there is not good education so the majority of them they don't have high degree or uh, something so uh, half of Assad he controlled about those uh, minority very well and they use it uh, against all uh, Syrian uh, and different ethnic uh, so the al Haidari group they don't like uh, the classy and they don't like uh, half of the Assad uh, especially uh, but uh, in, after 2011 uh, Bashar al-Assad he understand he don't have enough power and his minorities is very small it's like one million nothing if you speak about the classy only so he need to hire more people around him so he uh, give uh, freedom for uh, uh, some radical people and as we know in 2003 uh, Assad regime he sent many radical uh, radical people to Iraq to fight him against uh, uh, USA inside Iraq so he he makes same plan and he sent uh, some radical people uh, to the uh, uh, Alawi uh, villages especially the Haidari villages and they make small genocide for many uh, uh, religious uh, uh, for many uh, villages so uh, that's the reason that Al-Haidari, they asking help, we need help. So they asking the army, as a regime, they told me, you are welcome, that's exactly what I want. So they give him directly uh, weapons and uh, the Al-Haidari in, in that time, it, it was part of the uh, group, uh, they fighting with Assad and they will be malicious. Uh, and. Uh, the Assad regime, he not interesting about only uh, this minorities. He directly go to Christian and he tried to make the same uh, game. But the Christian, they not interesting a lot. They sent some people, but those people, uh, not not a huge number, uh, especially uh, inside the Christian minority. They have high educate and also uh, they can travel uh, over. Uh, 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 outside uh, Syria, uh, if you see the number uh, in 2011, the number of the Christian it was two million, but now the number in 2022 uh, seven thousand. So we lose this uh, minority. Same what happened with the uh, uh, Jew. If you saw the uh, Syrian Jew inside Syria, we lose this minorities and this minority uh, now around only one family uh, uh, we know uh, this number but the majority of them they travel to uh, Brooklyn here in New York uh, uh, and uh, they make good business uh, and they make uh, many invest so we lose this minorities inside Syria and I think next 10 years maybe we will lose the Christian also if the game they will continue uh, and some people they asking the Assad he support the minorities but no anyone they know in the constitution there is especially number three uh, they put a plan uh, the president of Syria he should be a Muslim and especially uh, a Muslim but so the joke issue how he be a uh, 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 Muslim uh, if the Christian they pay tax the Jew they pay tax the Yazidi Yazidi they pay tax uh, and all people, the Alawi also, they pay tax. So uh, why they, they put a le- uh, level for that? But actually the Assad regime, they, they put a level in different side. You, we should know what happened exactly inside Syria. If you saw here, the first class of the Assad regime, the people, they support the army or the part of the army, like general, like uh, 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 working from the security so those first class the second class he should be Alawi he support Assad regime that's it number three we will speak about the minorities they support Assad regime the fourth class 
uh, should be Sunni. Sunni support as the regime. The fifth class, the Alawi, he against Assad regime. Maybe they will arrest some <coughs> of them. If he spoke a small issue against the Assad regime, but they didn't speak anything about the president of Syria. The uh, sixth class, we will speak about the minorities they spoke against uh, the uh, Assad uh, uh, the, uh, system inside uh, Syria. Uh, the seventh class about the Sunni, they spoke about that. But anyone he spoke directly against the first class here, especially about the Bashar al-Assad, he lose his citizenship and he should be from the opposition. So how we can make peace with the Assad regime? Now we should know what happened, what the situation inside Syria. Syria now in 2022, it's not one country, it's separate country. If we saw here in, in this area, there is Nusra Front, it makes united between many uh, radical groups. They control about this area and under uh, uh, their control more than four million people. Uh, if you go to uh, this area uh, in the north uh, of Aleppo exactly, this under control the uh, Syrian opposition and this people, uh, they took it, uh, support from uh, Turkey government and you, when you go to uh, uh, any uh, company, any, uh, any uh, uh, department in uh, this area, you will surprise, you will see Syrian uh, opposition flag and also beside them uh, Turkish uh, uh, flag. If you go to North East Syria, here it's mixed between different minorities and the, uh, they under, to be honest with you, under control the Kurdish com uh, uh, people. Uh, uh, but the uh, Kurdish in this area, uh, it's not the majority. It's like equal with the uh, Arab uh, clan. Uh, but also you can see uh, Syriac and you can see Ashuri, there's many ethnic in this uh, area and those uh, group, uh, they work directly uh, with uh, USA uh, uh, against uh, ISIS and they uh, help uh, to survive uh, the people and especially the Izidi uh, uh, against uh, uh, those radical groups. Assad regime, they uh, control about all this area here, but he don't have uh, enough money uh, because uh, the rich area under control, uh, the uh, Kurdish people here and uh, the Syriac and all this group, because here the majority of the uh, oil of Syria and also the cotton and, uh, and hold. Uh, in the south of Syria, here the Arab mountain, Arab mountain, you can find the majority of the people are Durzi, and also small minorities from the Christian and uh, uh, a little villages from the uh, uh, Sunni. Uh, in this area, the Druze they sent uh, some children to uh, some. Uh, uh, young people to fighting beside the Assad regime, but uh, uh, after one or two years, they understand this game. Uh, not anyone from Assad regime uh, uh, or their family, uh, they dying, but their children, they, they die uh, in this crazy war. So directly they asking to return the uh, young people and uh, they serve in, inside this area and also if you saw the uh, local news inside Syria, uh, every two days or two weeks, there's many protests against Assad regime in this area and many problems. So I thought this area, it's like uh, kind of intimidated uh, inside the Syria. If you need more details about uh, what happened exactly in each area, here I wrote the report about the Idlib, Amant, I recommend it for you to know all details what happened. 
especially about the radical people, what they did against the Christian and also about the uh, Druze and uh, about the Alawi uh, in this area. Uh, and what we did as a Syrian activist uh, uh, against this group. And also, uh, in this report also, we put it more details about the force area uh, in, inside Syria with all details. And also we recommended some, uh, uh, we, we recommended plan how we can find solution to help Syria to return Syria as a united country and maybe federalism uh, country doesn't matter. We need support for uh, the people uh, and we need to solve these problems. Absolutely, some people, they they asking, uh, how that's happened, how uh, the uh, problems happened. So I create this book, Assad and Me. Assad and Me, they explain all details about Syria and what happened exactly to push people to make their revolution and also uh, what the uh, difficult between the Alawi and different ethnic and where the people and what happened exactly in, inside this country. And uh, you can see a specific information inside this book. I think you will like it a lot. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.